Hello, hello, Shark of the Known here. Welcome back to Genshin Impact here on the 27th of November 2022, local time 19. Local time 1921. I just muted myself. Oops, my bad. Alrighty. Let's continue on with this. I don't want to waste much time. I want to beat this mission now. Tonight. We'll see. Oh, we got Dendroculi all up in here. Yeah, so we were um, just basically hanging out in here. Trying to um, finish getting full clearance access. I think we've done most of it now. I don't know. Really hard to tell. Because it keeps opening up to more things. So last time I got to a point where it's like, you know what, I'm done. Because... It's Genshin, so the quest may take six times longer than expected. Um, I don't think... So I don't know if it's above this, or inside? I don't know where I'm supposed to be. Ooh, hello. So let's relax for an hour or two. See what happens. Wait. Ah. It dunked on, lady. I'm about to take damage. Alright, can this... Can this lady die? Why am I having so much trouble killing this one? Wasn't there one of you in the chasm that was friendly? Within this desolate plain. Just have to come back later, right? Oh, I'm like right on this one, basically. Where it be? Not here. Okay, you know what I need to do? I need to mark the map. Come over here and mark the map. That way I don't lose them. We definitely want these. Hello. Sacred seal danger. Danger, danger! You ever, um, you ever play something and you really enjoy it? But you also feel like you're never going to really truly experience it? I don't know if that makes sense, but, uh, I've been playing Caves of Cud. I've been doing that on stream on Friday and Saturday night. And it's been very interesting. Let's see what this is. So I've always liked that game. But I've never really done a lot of it. Did I miss anything? I don't know. We'll just go this way. Uh, I've never really done a lot of it. Basically, I'd kind of start and I'm like, dude, this game is sick. But I would die and then I'd keep going. And I, I wouldn't keep going too much longer. And the interesting thing is I've played a lot of roguelikes. And for some reason, I never progressed very far in that one. I don't know why. But it just... I never made it very far. Until recently when I've been on stream. But... I found that... I've known this for a long time, but I'm not really a big fan of permadeath mechanics. And... That's a big issue there. However, the game does have a, um... A roleplay mode where it saves when you're in cities. So you can actually get away from the permadeath. But, um... I didn't start my character in that mode, so I've been save scumming. But that's really letting me know, like, how much I have to learn and all that. And the thing is, I'm very aware that permadeath, by playing a game with permadeath and getting good at it and beating it, like Noita or something. Noita is a great example. You know that by the time you beat it, you have probably gotten a decent bit better at the game. And that's critical. Like, by forcing you to keep trying over and over, 
you do get better at the game and you do make some real progress. So that's cool, right? I am kind of cheating myself out of that progress by not going in permadeath mode, but I, I don't really feel like I have that patience. Um, I only have so much time I devote to games, and I don't really want to lose all that... Oh, wait, wait, I think I saw it. I don't really want to lose all that time by, um... by playing in, like, a permadeath mode. Yeah, here we go. Here's one. I don't want to spend so much time by playing in a permadeath mode and having to repeatedly redo the same stuff over and over. Granted, again, I'll get better over time. But it's really kind of... you know, lit me up a little bit as to like, oh my. I could be so much better at this. It's just a big time sink, right? And I, I have a character that I originally used Cheat Engine to level up. Then I learned about the Wish system. And I just kept making them stronger and stronger, messing with the mutations and stuff. And I found out about about all these really awesome mechanics and stuff that, again, feel so out of reach because of the amount of effort that you have to put into actually getting that far. But it also inspires me to want to play it more. Like, my current plan is play the game, keep saves coming my way to beat the game, and then start going into roleplay mode and not saves coming, so... I still get saves when I'm in cities, but it does make me be a lot more careful. Um, so I, I, I am planning on, you know, doing that. It'll help me out a lot, I'm sure. But I, you know, I, I've seen some very interesting things that make me want to devote more time to it. Um, and I feel like I've only scratched the surface. But at the same time, it's like, dude, it feels so impossibly far away to do some of the things. Alrighty. Some ale. Ha, I was wondering when you would get here, my dear Jabrail. Huh? And here you are, just as I expected, even without an invitation from me. Oh, how long has it been since we last spoke face to face? Even my fingers on both hands aren't enough to count the years. What about you? Do you remember Jabrail? Whoa, that guy seems really strange, but it looks like he knows Jabrail. How cold. Is our reunion after so many years apart not worth a glass of wine and a toast? You know I don't hold the past against you. Either that or I'm not Samael the straight shooter. There's still a place for you in Totmos. Just say the word and everything can go back to how it was. Indeed, we can even go claim the debt that Babel owes us. Babel. Babel. I knew it! I knew Jabril wasn't a good person. He's a... Actually, old friends with someone like this? Nonsense. Father may have kept some things from me, but... But I believe he has his reasons. <laughs> that really hurts, Jet. Huh? How do you know my name? How could I not? Why, Jabril, you've got such a cold heart. And it's like father, like daughter, I see. Ah, dear Jet, you may have forgotten me, but luckily I still remember it very well. Okay, first of all, that, that dude, we've established that other guy's an ass. And he's like, I knew it, Jabril's bad. Have we not already seen by this conversation that Jabril and this guy, like, they knew each other, but... Like, is that guy, like, do they think that we're, we've been lured into a trap or something? Like, this guy is like, yo, Jabrail, I know who you are, but you don't remember me or whatever. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know, whatever. I don't want to try to explain it. I don't want to read too much into it. I held you in my arms and you were just a little baby with the moonlight on one side and the bonfire on the other, just like your parents. How come? It seems like Jabrail didn't tell you anything at all, huh? Come on, that can't be. Jabril, couldn't you even tell your own daughter the truth? Oh well, I suppose I shouldn't have been too shocked. After all, we did call you the treacherous grit. As I listened to my subordinates reporting to me about the responses of the foreign merchants in the oasis, I started to wonder who gave them such wisdom, yet only instructed them without explaining anything at all. But even I could never have imagined that little Jet's place in your heart is no different than those foreign merchants, mere strangers to you. You don't even dare to tell her about your past. Why? Are you afraid she'll hear about your history of betrayal and look down on you? Father? Samil, to be honest, I'm quite relieved to see that you're still the same lippy fellow I remember. Now, I have nothing to worry about if I beat you to the point where you'll leave of your own accord. Haha, <laughs> so you are afraid. You're afraid that this ghost of your past will seek you out for the debt you owe. 
But of course I have the right. The secrets of al Akmar belong to Tutmos. Yet you took the key and betrayed us. You betrayed all of us, grains of sand. Just look at yourself. You're with children and cowards. <laughs> Where is the ferocity you once had? Has it flowed away like sand flows out from between the fingers? Enough. Hand Ben-Ben over. Ben-Ben? Oh, that mechanical creation? <laughs> hey, did you hear all, did you all hear that? Jabrail actually calls this thing Ben-Ben. Unfortunately, these Snezhnaians aren't our old acquaintances, or this would be much, much more amusing. Hand over Ben-Ben, or else. Or else what, Jabrail? Is this even necessary? Ultimatum after ultimatum. Have you finally changed your mind? Do you plan to finally sit down and catch up with me? Oh, right. Do you remember what happened to Uf Ufira? <laughs> you haven't forgotten, right? It's fine. Even if you've forgotten, I can help you refresh your memories again and again. What the heck is this guy saying? We do have another way to communicate, don't we? Come on, Jet. Why don't you and that kid over there lend him a hand? After all, Jabrail is much weaker than he used to be. Chagat, that guy Samel looks strong. But we have to give him a good thrashing so we can get Ben Ben back. Is he gonna have a boss bar? He does. I'm gonna whoop his ass. Yo, he looks cool though. It dunked on, dude. Didn't expect you to be a step ahead, Jabrail. Remember, I am the viper in the vault. I will be lurking behind every shadow. What I was trying to say, though, is that there was clearly animosity between Jabril and Samael. So the guy, the guy just jumping to being like, Jabril's bad, was kind of weird. It's like there's obviously animosity there. They're not on good terms right now, even just in the first couple lines of dialogue. Ben Ben, are you all right? Beep, beep, beep. It seems fine, but a little sad. Hey, Jabril, you... You better tell us the truth right this instant, or we'll have to go our separate ways. So Mail is clearly some manner of a villain, but he was being so friendly with you and even with Jet. So are you are you a part of the same group? I knew it. I knew it all along. You agreed to my commission without even asking about the details. It's because you had a plan, right? You plotted with Samael to trick a simple and ignorant researcher like me to uncover the secrets here for you. And even used your own daughter to gain my trust for the sake of that goal, didn't you? And you, Jet. That naivety and ignorance of yours was just a facade that Jabrail made you put on, wasn't it? And what an actress you were indeed. Tears out you're too much. Paimon thinks that Jet really was in the dark about this, but as for Jabrail... Paimon? You too, Shagoth? Wake up. It's my kindness and gullibility that made me fall for their lies. Don't follow in my footsteps. What are you talking about? I'm no actress. And you, father. This isn't the time for secrets. I too want to know the truth. I won't make excuses for my betrayal, nor do I think that I made the wrong choice. You know, Paimon remembers Samael calling Jabrail something like that. Treacherous grit. Yes, there's nothing to hide there. I was once one of the sand people, Tutmos. No matter what it was in the past, now. Anyway, Samael is a madman through and through. He will stop at nothing to achieve his objectives. That was obvious enough. My wife, Jet's mother, was killed by him. So that's what happened. Is that why you never ever mentioned her? Your mother was a researcher too. If it wasn't for me, she would have had a brighter future. At least she wouldn't have lost her life at such a young age. Tirzad. What? I will just believe a word you said. That's reasonable. It was I who concealed my motives, so I brought this upon myself. Huh. At least you've got some self-awareness. But no matter what, I'll protect you until this commission is over. No way, it's obvious that Samael has a bone to pick with you. If you stay with me, I don't want to be targeted by someone like that. Tirzad, you're being stupid again. That's just an old grudge between them. His current priority is definitely King Deshret's treasures. Why would he have taken Ben Ben otherwise? So he'd come for you even if my father wasn't here. After all, you have the key to solving everything. I do? Wait, the stone slate. Good thing I gave it to Shagoth for safekeeping. I knew it wasn't something safe. Dude, what an ass! This thing is dangerous. I'm glad I gave it to someone else. Hey. 
It's not just the stone slate, but your intelligence too. The knowledge you possess as a researcher is something he covets. I, I don't want to be targeted in a place like this. It'll be fine with Jabrail here. Father won't lose to that guy, and we have me too. I, I won't let Samel harm anyone again. There's no time to lose. The longer we delay, the more time he'll have to prepare. He's like a viper crawling through the shadows, and his blades are like a viper's fangs. We cannot show any weakness to him, otherwise it'll lead to fatal consequences. I hope you'll keep your word. Well, as far as Paimon's concerned, Paimon thinks that staying united is even more important than now, now that we've finally gotten Ben Ben back. Look, they're still a long way ahead, right? But it's strange. What's Samael doing here? What they, what they want should be up there, right? I'm sure he has a plan, or perhaps we missed some clues around here. Oh, then we absolutely can't allow our differences to delay our expedition. Let's go. Shoggoth and Paimon will take the front. All of you keep up. We have to go to the Anubis statues and twist their nipples. That's the secret. Um, so Mail's missive. Notable progress has been made in the Kaj Nisut. Requisite conditions for opening the path are expected to come to light soon. From one's humble perspective, this place remains an essential part of the puzzle. All help would be appreciated. When the task is complete, competition will be conferred as promised. Some mail. What about this other one? Oh, it's a crystal. Alrighty, what's going on, Tusk? He says the Final Fantasy XV pinball thing sucks. Dude, I love it. I thought it was cool. You were stuck for more than two hours playing it. <laughs> I liked it. It's I. It's been a long time since I played it, but I had fun with it. I played it for a while when I first discovered it. You didn't know you could quit. You could just fail. <laughs> if you wanted to quit, you could just intentionally fail. Alright, here's one of the Anubis statues. Let's twist its nipples. I'm sure that's the puzzle, right? No? Damn it. I thought that was going to be the secret... We got all these slates. So many of them. <laughs> I can't get over it. Their, their little cartoon running sound effects. It's great. Yeah, so back to my train of thought from earlier. Um, I think roguelikes have a very special way of presenting material and the learning curve that shows up in roguelikes that other games don't really match very very effectively. And again, it's that like it's the double-edged sword of permadeath because you spend so much time dealing with the permadeath mechanics because you have to completely restart over and over and over again that it really does make good runs stand out. That's one of the best things about it. That when you have like a really good run, it's a lot more memorable. Who is attacking? Solidify. I have no idea what's going on. But it, it makes those really good runs stand out and, and they're much more memorable. But it's also like it makes the game much more of a time sink and then when you start to see these really cool things peeking through it's like dude i want to do all of that but again i have to play so much to get to that point that it can be frustrating at times just my thoughts at least and i do complain that a lot of times people you know, especially modern people, they want instant gratification. They don't want to have to put in the effort to earn something. You know, it's a lot of stereotypical complaints like back in my day. But it's, you know, one of the reasons I like Elder Scrolls 3 so much is that the progression, it's slow, but it feels good. 
I don't think other Elder Scrolls games... 4 wasn't bad. 2 is good. My favorite is 3. And, you know, like, by the end of the game, you're a god. But you had to earn it, and it, it starts out slow. So, I mean, I do talk about, like, people's patience and everything in, in, in games and wanting instant gratification. So, I mean, I... I do agree that sometimes it's better to have to put that time in. But sometimes it's very frustrating when you start to have something good and then you lose it very quickly. And it's like you gotta do it all over again. Which again, that's why I've been save scumming. Hey, I've been looking for you. No! Jackass? You better let me on top of that. Let's see if I can get up there. But I will say, what I found earlier messing around with uh, the cheat character is that there are so many things I really want to try on like a normal character. I think it'll be cool to see the actual progression into some of this crazy stuff I just experienced. I think it'll be really cool to see the actual progression. this chest blocked? What are Mexicanos? I don't know what that is, Tusk. Got a puzzle here. Going meat slabs with chili in it. Well, that's not for me. <laughs> that was a quick note from me. I don't know what I'm really supposed to be doing yet. I want to get all the interior ones for the chest, and then the exterior ones for the doors. What trinkets lie no. within this desolate plain? I don't know what that other thing is either. Yeah, but I don't know what those are, dude. I've never heard of that before. I actually clicked too fast for the UI, which sucks. Like, it's missing some clicks occasionally. Activate the door ones.
You gotta keep in mind, I'm a very picky eater, so that's gonna mean I also don't, like, discover a lot of foods as well. But when something is described as a slab of meat, I'm probably not gonna like it. Because what I like outside of chicken is pretty limited. And I definitely... A slab of chicken, I mean... I guess that could be okay. That's a weird way to describe chicken, though. Yeah, that's what I mean. It'd be a weird way to describe chicken. Not the most appetizing sound. But I mean, I guess it's like a chicken breast or something, you know? Oh, I never um, removed this marker. It was funny, because like in Star Ocean earlier, I was like, Oh, there's this food item that showed up. Oh, I wouldn't like this because it's steak and, uh, like asparagus or something. It's, I don't like this, I don't like that. The other one was like, well, it has blueberries in it, I don't like blueberries. So I wouldn't eat that. <laughs> like, that's just me immediately, like, not liking any of the ingredients on any of the meals. I'm like, hey, this one is just like noodles and garlic and stuff. Like, that one's good. Noodles are good. Garlic is good. Oh, no? Not that? So we gotta uncross the streams now. Yeah, we gotta light both up. Sweet! Oh, can this slate even break stones? All I gotta say though is don't hate me because I got good taste in food. <laughs> That's how it be. I don't know what ball croquettes are either. I thought croquette was like a game or something, like croquet or something. The only ball I know about is a ball stretcher. Beat the ball in? Hmm. I don't know what it is. Oh, we gotta light one of these up now. Opeth Hall. It's almost Opeth. Opeth kicks ass. Particularly like, I don't want to be that guy, but particularly old Opeth. I do like modern Opeth. But I prefer the progressive death metal style over like the 70s prog. But the thing I like the most about their 70s prog version incarnation is just how nutty they get at times in ways that they didn't really do as a death metal band. So it does have its benefits. You said croquettes, you guys in the US in the USA eat them too. I don't know what it is. Like I'm dude, I dude, <laughs> like I was just saying, I'm such a picky eater. I may not know what it's called, because I may have seen it and said, I don't want to eat that. But I don't know of anything by that name, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Or it doesn't mean, like, people here don't eat it. But I've never seen a food called that.
So, what, what is it, though? Because I don't know what it is. What does it consist of? You said it's a ball? Do you stretch it? I wonder if you could take a ball stretcher on an airplane. Would that be considered a weapon? <laughs> Mark sacred seals. The hell? Oh. Yeah. Nearby have been located. They show up on the map now. Contains whatever you like. Then I guess I would like it if I just put what I like in it. Well, that doesn't seem like a very consistent food then. You know, surprisingly, I actually like goulash. At least whatever my mom used to make. The reaction? Maybe there might be some primal... Dude, that went away so fast. There might be some primal sunglasses... Sandglasses around here that haven't been activated yet. This is where I... Yeah, I was about to say, this is where I just was. We went up here... I need to find how to activate this room. Because there's like a little dude that needs to float around and activate these, um... Well, all I need is, I need a thing to take and, and put on here. Go look around. I didn't go up this way. Is this the other side of that door I couldn't go through? Yeah. Oh no, I did just go through it. I'm dumb. This should be all I need then. If I could just take it down here. I was like, I know there's one not far from here. Does this work? Hell yeah, light that bitch up. Light that bitch up. And that bitch too. And this one three. That didn't give me anything useful. Cry out my illustrious name. I mean, it did, but not useful in the way that I wanted right now. <laughs> oh no, Tusk. You're gonna do a pun. <laughs> um... I don't even know where to start. I wish I were good at puns, because I'm not. I'm trying to, I'm legitimately trying to think of something. 
What, okay, what did the goulash say to his son when a human got in a car accident? He shouldn't have been stroking off while he was driving. That's the best I can do. Look, son of a whiplash. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, you know, like the stroganoff one? It's like he's stroking his meat. Speaking of stroking your meat, did you hear the DSP beat off on stream again? Dude, I am lost. We need another hourglass, or a sand glass somewhere. That's right, there was this thing here. This wall. There's a thing on the other side. Can I find out how to get over there? Ah, oh, it's just right here. This must be it. By the way, I just said that for a reaction to be funny, but, uh... Just to be clear, he did not do that again. I ain't trying to make up stuff. I just thought it'd be funny to say. Where's the other one? Over here. I don't know if I'm gonna get there. I did it! I did it in one go! I'm the best main. I did it. Cry out my illustrious name. Um... So I gotta go this way, I guess. I was thinking the hourglass, the sand glasses were gonna be it. Oh, I need to fill you up. Fill me up, daddy. Wait, no? the hell? <laughs> They're done? Nice. Eat well. Did you hear what I said a minute ago about DSP? Oh, uh, there's, there's an unlit... There's two unlit ones in this room, which I find interesting. Because I, I made that... I made that Stroganoff... joke. And I was saying... You know, speaking of someone stroking their meat, did you hear that uh, DSP beat off on stream again? I'm confused at what I'm supposed to do here.
You didn't hear about it, did you? It's like an elevator or something. I need to find an ember to bring over here. By the way, you didn't hear about it because it didn't happen. I'm over here trolling. Twice! Proceed deeper within the ruins. We need a crocodile head. Can I just go get that? Is that the crocodile head? Oh no. It's on the surface. I can't get there. It's on the surface. Yo, them dudes are moving. They got places to be. You know how long it's been since I've done one of those? Been a hot ass minute. Finnick Fox, what's up, bro? What's up, Fran? You my friend. We got a sandstorm. Yo, what the hell's going on over there? What the hell? I just found out you can't right right click to drag the map. All that armor had me thinking I could. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to go there. That's gonna be for a future update. There's no way they put that big cyclone thing in the background, and then we're not going to do something with it. I'm gonna go beat off in the cyclone, then my jizz is gonna go in circles. It's gonna be awesome. I'm sorry for that. That was uncalled for. Hey, little Finnick dude. What's up? I wanna pet you. Yo, he booked it. Nah, he's too slow to be a Finnick. Next are dummy quick. I don't think there's a reason to. There's a thing back there. I can't spin it or anything, so I can't do anything with it. Oh, you.
and low. What trinkets lie veiled within this desolate plain? Oh, that is sick. That's kind of sick. I like it. I need this thing to respawn. Give me that ish. Transparent name. Ruins record. So this is... It's, it's underground. And guess what? That didn't take me underground. if I need this to continue the quest or not. That's I guess that's my problem. How do I get down there? We'll go back here. It's up. How do I go up? In a game where you can climb anything. Oh, I'm actually super close. Oh, wait. I was. It's like Shadow of the Colossus, you gotta climb up on it and then twist its nipples to defeat it. There's a lot of uh, unmarked things down here. Or not unmarked, but uh, untapped, whatever. Shadow of the Colossus was awesome. I'm not saying it's not anymore, I just haven't played it in like 15 years. If not more. Pray for the Gods is cool. I mean, it's basically Shadow of the Colossus. Spiritual successor. How do I get where I'm trying to go now? Dude, I am sad right now. Like, seriously, I am very sad right now. It's just, like, hitting me that I have to work tomorrow. And it's gonna be a full five days, not three like last week.
Sometimes I feel like I'd rather participate in BME Pain Olympics than work. That's quite a statement, I just realized. You heard it at the same time I did. I sense that I'll have trouble sleeping tonight. Restore it! All for a chest? In three days I shall die, and the kingdom shall be plunged into unending chaos. The other inscriptions on this slate are very unclear and hard to read. It seems that inscriptions from different periods and in different styles have been layered over each other, altering one another in the process. The words inscribed here are fragmented, their content a mess. After Shah Ramshar death, his young son Artaxir took the throne as Artaxir died, and minister here traitor has been appended on the top. Turan Kagan ruled as regent. The bandit Turan Kagan was destroyed and his three sons were by executed. Humayun and Shah Ramshar's princess married and so was known as King Humayun Gurkhan. In the year Humayun Gurkhan was slain in the Jin uprising and was decapitated at Sala. Within a short time 30 kings came to be allies across the land and within a few years they all had per they had all perished. Garsh Asp destroyed all the bandits, and thus did the kings bow to him, naming him Muazam Kagan, Kagan of Kagans. He abandoned Gurabad and set up as the capital. Garsh Asp Kagan fell, and the capital burned for seven days destroy. The people fled to Tulai Tule Tola as the sapphire the sapphire city. Some became servants, others craftsmen, and others entertainers. May the Lord of the Blazing Sands save these mortal realms, and may his favor restore us to those years. Not sure what to make of that. That is not the solution, however. I kind of didn't think it was, but... Now we've confirmed it. Wait, wait, what if I have to point to the center again? I don't know, that'd be weird, but... power to you there, Tusk. <laughs> I don't think I could handle that. Dude, am I gonna... Am I just gonna have to look this thing up? Dude, I'll do it. See deeper within the ruins. Yeah, we need to find two embers. I get that. We did the Sealy. In this place, so there'll be four platforms. To reach the first primal limber, you need to solve puzzle on the right side of the room, platform C and D. They can open the door on this side by turning the Everlight cells. You can get the chest. Afterward, we open the left door. Use the forged primal lights on the replicator keystones. Basically, bring the blue triangle thingy to the glowing square platform. Release the ember and follow it. While following the first ember, it'll eventually open a locked gate. We'll see the second primal ember is nearby. It's marked on the map.
Is this a red herring? Maybe. That is cool, Tusk, but again, I just have problems with the real-time games like that. And the multiplayer aspect of it. A herring is a type of fish, yes. But a red herring is like a, a false clue. If you ever get a raging clue, but it's not actually what you meant it to be. False fish indeed. Sometimes I feel stupid on this game. <laughs> I just took the path that it led me on the first time and I did not see any more embers. Thing is like, oh, it'll be marked, it'll just be there. It'll be easy to find. It's like bullshit. I might pull up one of these videos. Some videos popped up. I might need to reference one. Because I, dude, I am just not seeing it. I'm not seeing what, what do I need to do. Is there a trick here? I can't interact with that anymore. Wait. No. Wait, I can rotate you. The hell's the point of that? It does nothing. I can't rotate that. Can't interact with it. Right, let me take another look. Let me pause this before official starts talking over and over. When following the first primal embers, it'll eventually open a locked gate. Is it just still sitting at the gate? I hear the voice of fate. Oh my god! My name in humble supplication. That was a different one. You know, and I remember when it got to that gate, but I thought I interacted with it. I thought it moved. But like the marker's broken. The marker's pointing to a place I've already been. That's the red herring. Let's go. Let's do it. I can't believe that was so obvious, but I didn't notice it. Like, because like it was sitting right there at the door. So the way it moved through, I thought we were done. Okay, we have a Dendroculus here somewhere. Let's poke around the corners and stuff before we continue. Before we commit to that. Hello, Dendroculus. Oh, you're just gonna let me- Oh! This place looks sick.
That made my nipples quiver. This should be the last place. Shoggoth, let's take a look at the stone slate. If things go the same way as before, there may be clues about the stone slate here. Ah, uh, we're getting a two star now, right? There's two of these. This is... It lit up as expected, and there's a map? Yeah, I was gonna say these are the pyramids. This one closer to us is, uh... Like, Deshret's mausoleum itself. Tears out. these symbols on the stone slate should be your area of expertise, right? So isn't it time to give us an explanation? Yes, these inscriptions are most likely texts of praise. Someone in an exalted position like King Deshret would naturally be fond of things like this. Look, all these wonders are an attempt at whitewashing his rule. Oh, yeah, I forgot how he was about all this. Whitewashing, you say, but Paimon remembers you saying something different earlier. Rule by force, you said. Exactly, you spoke of submission and terror before. And sure, you sounded convinced then, too. And you sure sounded convinced. W what do you mean? These are conclusions I came to after careful analysis and reasoning. Just look at it. What would it be if not an attempt at whitewashing? It's very common for rulers to sugarcoat all their deeds. Since this entire ruin was made by King Deshred, it's not hard to imagine that its purpose... that that's its purpose, right? That this is its purpose. Reflecting on your own shortcomings in your work, well, we researchers do that. Though they mostly just write a few hypocritical lines in the acknowledgement of a research paper and call it a day. And you know what? They're just pretending to be modest. What would any academic really believe that they're incompetent? Why would any academic really believe that they're incompetent anyway? I promise I can read. Shagoth, somehow Paimon gets the feeling that he's hurting himself with his own words there. <clears throat> I must admit that Jabrail's analysis did give me some inspirations. But an outstanding researcher should be able to accept the opinion of others when they are correct. Needless uh, obstinacy will make it impossible to make an academic breakthrough. Don't you think so too? You've said everything that can be said from either side. Is there even anything left for us to say? And here we see the researcher's ability to twist facts in its natural habitat. It's nothing of the sort. This is the deepening of understanding. Sigh. Your inability to realize that shows that you still have a long way to go. Speaking of ways, is the place marked on the map our next destination? Yes, I think it's where all treasures meet and all secrets end. No, because we need to get four-star clearance. This is going to be a longer quest than I thought. Of course, it will be the end of our grand adventure too and the penultimate chapter of my masterpiece. While I really wish to obtain all the answers at this instant, my body is exhausted. Noctigal and the others are still at the Oasis. Oh right, some male subordinates reported to him about merchants. Do you think they were attacked? Oh no, I almost forgot that. I told them what to do if something like that happened, so they should be fine. Whoa, that's a first. Paimon's never heard Jabrail sound so uncertain. Hmm, let's get back to Noctigal's group as soon as we can then. It'll be bad if they're in hot water that they can't get themselves out of. The Amazing Pyramid! Do I have two-star clearance now? Not quite sure. Oh, he's a straight-up walkthrough. That's cool. Return to the Oasis. But first... We'll check my clearance here and see if I can go through this door, because we just went past here and we know there's a two-star. Solidify. Not fighting, not fighting, so not fighting. <laughs> it's still red, so maybe not. We do not have enough clearance. It's so sick. It's a great view.
don't fall too fast because you can die if it pulls you into a movie or into like a dialogue you can hit the ground and die oh there's eremites are they smells flunkies i can't talk <laughs> sorry i had to sneeze ah i don't know what dude i complained about this earlier I don't know what it is. When I'm streaming, I sneeze all the time. I was on the phone for like an hour with my dad before my stream this morning. Perfectly fine, no issues. Within five minutes of starting the stream, I'm sneezing. Uh... Pushed me inside. What? What in the? Oh, I'm out. <laughs> Look at that girl. <laughs> the tent has a boner. Gives a new meaning to pitching a tent. I'm just so happy that you're all alright too. Uh, they really came at us. It looks like the tent's about to come. Oh, I just finished. Luckily, Jabrail gave us some instructions beforehand, so they didn't make things too difficult for us. If Bonifaz had Jabrail's wisdom, then perhaps our business would be doing much better than it currently is. You think too highly of him then. Wisdom? He's one of them. I'll bet it's experience talking. Father wouldn't do something like that. There's no need to argue with him, Jet. It's my fault. I don't care what happened in the past. As far as I'm concerned, you have nothing to do with Samael now, and that's good enough. That's enough for me. What's going on? I thought a night in the Oasis might bring all of you closer together. Why are you at each other's throats again? It's a long story. You tell Noctigal everything. I see, but I don't have the right to comment on it. <laughs> what a nerd. Oh, why is that? Well, that's because Tirzad is the one who's paying me. No matter who I support, I'll be in a difficult spot. If I support Jabrail, Tirzad will probably scream at me to get lost. Oh, look, look at that mean mug scowl he's got, because he knows he's an asshole. But if I support Tirzad, then we'll be without Jabrail in this world of sand and bandits. Chagath, what would you do in a situation like this? I think Jabrail has changed his ways. Paimon doesn't think Tabrail's a bad guy either. Anyway, that guy Samael has a weird way of speaking. It's best not to believe everything he says. Jabrail is his enemy. Yeah, so they're definitely not on the same side. I believe that the most important thing right now is to get Tirzad to trust Jabrail. What? You're a merchant. You should know the value of trust. Even in the word of a world of academics, researchers who engage in misconduct will be stripped of their research qualifications. Just ask yourself, would you trade with someone who cheated you in the past? Oh, about that. I would decide based on the circumstances. <laughs> I dare not speak for others, but Bonifaz and I have much more flexible moral standards. After weighing the risks and the benefits, we usually choose to take the risk. We wouldn't have accepted your commission otherwise. Ah, you guys. I think I said this before, but you sure are stubborn. Forget about Samael for a moment and ask yourself a question. Has Jabrail ever done anything to harm you? No, I don't think so. Then hasn't he proven himself through his actions? You know, when you caused all that commotion after getting drunk, it was Jabrail who stayed and took care of you, Tirzad. Hmm. This isn't the time for fighting amongst ourselves. Yeah, we haven't even had we haven't even found the place marked on the map yet. Jabrail is definitely the person in our group who knows the most about the desert. It'll be difficult for our expedition to proceed without him leading the way. Fine. I'll do it for you. I know I can trust you too, Paimon and Shagath. I'll trust you again. Alright, the Tirzat archaeological team is back together again. We still have time. We should travel to the next oasis and rest there in preparation for the next leg of this expedition. I, I'm willing to explain to repay you for your trust, but the journey is our current priority. Yeah, we ain't done. We're going to be doing this. I'm, I'm 
Probably not finishing this today, after all. This is gonna be a long-term, big, beefy boy quest. So I guess we're gonna have to do like four of these or something. I would... I mean, I don't want to spoil it, so I don't know, but... I would assume that King Deshret's is the largest. So the others might be a bit shorter. We'll find out by doing it, though. All the mushrooms are bouncing around. Look at them. It's weird how you walk through somewhere and it's like, how have I never seen this before? A new punch in you are not welcome here. Wreck and ruin. I condemn you. Gather. Jungle. You're not in the jungle right now, bro. You're in the desert. Yeah. And that's why you're dead, because you don't know the difference. I'm going to run out of artifact room again. Should just stop picking up loot. Trinkets lie veiled within this desolate plain. Is that most fall? Hello, Seely. I don't know, sprinting might be faster than that. That's a joke. I like to say things like that, but make it sound just a little bit too serious. You know streamers and stuff that... Like, YouTubers and all that, they do the, um... Well, I almost said something else. You know how they do the uh, the face reveal? Solidified. Just kind of a weird, cringy thing, sort of. But should actually be the O face reveal. That should be a new trend. If I hit this many subs, I will do an O face reveal. Yo, how far are you going, dude? Up here, I see. <laughs> Cry out my illustrious name. I am absolutely exhausted right now. There's a lot to discuss, but let's set up camp first. Now that our bellies are full, what other excuses do you have? Let's hear them. 
And what did you slip to Noctigal earlier? Uh oh. He gave Noctigal the roofies, didn't he? You'd better not be thinking of using the merchants to send messages to the enemy. Tears out, you're being too hostile. No one's going to talk if you act like that. Yeah, dude. This, can this guy, like, not be an ass for six seconds at a time? Jeez. It was just a note on some trivial matters. It was. It's with the luggage that you won't be able to take with you. You can have it once you return safely. He can be hostile all he wants. I'm angry too. Forget Tirzad. Even I've never heard about my father's past. I refuse to believe he's an evil person, but it's his secretiveness that caused all of this. None of this would have happened if he told us everything from the beginning. Ugh, now I don't even know where to start. Maybe we should start with his relationship with Samael. Exactly. I can't sleep in peace without getting, getting to the bottom of that. All of you heard Samael, yes? Well, he was telling the truth. Just like him, I was a member of the Aramite band Tutmos. However, I betrayed him and the Tutmos both. Did you do it because of Mother? N no, that's not it. I thought I'd never have to mention this to anyone ever again. In the end, it was all my fault. There were ill feelings between me and Samael, but I only regarded myself as an insignificant grain of sand. I did as Tutmos needed of me. Ufaira was a capable researcher, and the Tutmos coveted her wisdom. They hoped to use her knowledge to solve the puzzle all Akhmar left behind. So I invited her to the desert and explored many ruins with her. I'll bet you explored some ruins. Ah. What's the invited is in quotes there, too. Our years spent exploring together did bear some fruit, but it wasn't enough for Tutmos. And was Jet included in those results? <clears throat> Come on, Tirzad, some things are best left unsaid. I'm making a reasonable inference here. As I said, there were ill feelings between Samael and me. After Jet was born, I kept asking myself if I, if I could still wholeheartedly carry out the missions Tutmos gave me as I had been doing in the past. Could I still tolerate what Samael was doing? In the end, Ufaira and I decided to, u to use hitting a bottleneck in her research as an excuse to take Jet away from the desert and away from Tutmos. But Samael saw through my weakness. I can't be. A researcher that can't unlock the secrets of al is worthless to Totmos. He even thought that I would have no reason to leave Totmos once Ufaira was gone. Father, I... What? How do you even sleep at night after witnessing things like that? I... I do my best. So our encounter with Samael was a coincidence. Yes and no. Totmos will never give up an opportunity to unlock al secrets. I thought that we might encounter them, but I never expected that we would run into Samael. Those Fatui, too. Paimon wonders what wicked plots they and Samael are hatching together. We will stop at nothing to achieve his objectives. That's the kind of person Samael is. Then what's your goal on this trip, Jabrail? My goal? Are you still unable to let go of King Deshret's secrets? Huh? But Jabrail said that even years of research with Ufira amounted to nothing. So how would relying on Tirzad really change anything? Ooh, Paimon throws shade. Why wouldn't you believe in my skills? Listen, we're going to fill in the blanks tomorrow. In truth, I already know how I'm going to write my paper. That's your problem, dude. Perhaps it's as Jet said. Coming to the desert is like returning home. And in the end, I'm a grain of sand. I was born here and I shall be buried here as well. So, the thing is, Tirzad already talked about how he's kind of like a failure a bit as an academic. And he really wants to prove himself. But he doesn't really want to be an academic at the same time. He feels like he's kind of been forced in the position. And he keeps jumping to unnecessary conclusions. He, like, it's really glaringly obvious, like, some of the issues he has. And he's just said it again. I already know how I'm going to write my paper. He gets very overconfident, overly confident, and he's been very smug, very elitist, all kinds of stuff. Ufira and I were like a bird and a fish, but all Akhmar's secrets allowed our fates to intertwine. Now you and I, people from different lands, are again here for those very same secrets. I didn't mention all of this to you because it was my own selfish dream, and it had nothing to do with Jet. I didn't want to make her bear any burdens she doesn't have to. Tirzad, we hold different opinions on Alakmar, but you are one of the researchers from the Hindi clan. As long as we reach the throne... The throne? Our destination tomorrow, Kaj Nisut, is where Al-Akmar's throne lies. 
According to the legends of the desert, only the Chosen are worthy to kneel before the throne. The times have changed. If I have a chance to look upon the golden slumber that Al-Akhmar promised, I'll be able to fulfill the lifelong wish that Ufaira and I share. To that end, I will do as we agreed and protect you to the end. Hmm, all right. Our side would be weaker by far if it were just Shagoth and me. Hey, how could you forget about Paimon? I don't think you can be included in any estimation of our group's strength. Huh, Paimon's definitely stronger than you, though. Anyway, I have new worries now. Jabrail, don't you have revenge on your mind at all? I know you've repeatedly promised to protect me until the commissions is over, but... The loss of your wife isn't something you can just laugh off, is it? If we meet him again... No, I think we definitely will. Even I know that he'll be waiting in ambush for us at our final destination. At that time, what will your priority be? Will you take a step forward to get revenge or step back to keep us safe? Come on, Tirzad, stop putting people on the spot like that. It's a very realistic question, and it's linked to my survival, so of course I have to pursue an answer. If taking revenge on Samael could bring Ufira back to life, a good deal like that, even if I had to gut him ten times, even a hundred times, I wouldn't hesitate at all. Um... <laughs> but this is a meaningless delusion that even Al-Akhmar would pay no attention to. I can only pray she has found peace amidst the endless ocean of sand. A man chained by hatred cannot raise a daughter. That's why I left the sands behind me, so that Jet could get away from all this, and those feelings that will not edify her. Father, I, I didn't know anything. I even said that you did all this because you couldn't forget the desert and the hot winds here. If you hate it here, let's just leave right now. Forget some mail. To be honest, I want to know about the past. I want to know about... I want to know how you and Mother met each other and fell in love. I want to know what you and Mother had been through, the sweet memories and everything else. But if bringing up those memories will hurt, bring you sorrow, then I'd rather not hear about them. Just leave them buried here. I'll stop liking the sand, and I'll stop treating this place as home. We've been together since I can remember. Nothing in this world is more important to me than you. So long as you're well, we can be at home anywhere. Wait, wait, you can't leave. Our expedition isn't over yet. But you were so auspicious of them a while ago. The things change. I fully trust Jabrail now. He certainly isn't on Samael's side, at least. Uh, he isn't, right? Don't worry, I won't quit halfway. Perhaps a day will come when I shall meet her again in the Eternal Oasis. When that day comes, spring water will replace salt water. Joy will wash away the pain. Roses will never wither, and the feasts will never end. But that day is still very, very far away. It will definitely not be now. She knows that I have a mission to complete. I will assist you in unlocking the secrets of Alakmar and protect you until the end. Samel will not obstruct us, because I will clear him out of your way. As for Rufaira, if I have the chance, I'll tell you everything, Jet. Time will gradually filter away the bitter impurities, though I'm not good with words. I may not be able to con even convey a thousandth of her beautiful qualities, but if you're willing to listen, I will tell you everything I know. M my head's a mess. Father, can you sing that song again, O oh, stars high above the wasteland? It always calms me. It's a song that Ufira deciphered from Malachmar's texts. O oh, stars high above the wasteland, O oh, nightingales weary from the day, it's time to take off the crown of roses, cleanse yourself with wine made from grapes. I'll take the night watch, don't stay up too late. Oh, nice view. Alrighty, let's go. Yeah, that looks cool, that cyclone thing there. Good old mountain over there too, huh? Oh, we ain't doing that. We got a Sealy. Sealy takes priority. Give me that scarab and that scarab.
Yo, you're really pushing the boundaries of the map, bro. Calm down. Where's your little nest thing at? Right there. Don't cap my inventory, don't cap it. Okay, good. Destiny has brought me hither. <laughs> right to rule. Not fighting, so not fighting. Okay, unless you're gonna make me. They shot hexagons at me. I think they were hexagons. Whew, we're finally here. But is the alcohol still clouding my mind or has the sand distorted my vision? Is this really the place we're looking for? I can see Kajnisut, but it feels like I also don't. Also, this is a place I, I only very br briefly uh, went here for the uh, um, the Waypoint Shrine teleporter. So there's probably a lot of stuff here that I haven't seen. Actually, I have been meaning to ask. You clearly can't hold your alcohol, so why are you so fond of drinking? Because he's like I was. Drinking to, like, drown away that he hates his life and his work and everything, right? Beep? Beep? I'd hoped it would prove my fountain of wisdom, but it makes my world spin instead. Ugh, you're right. I really should slow down a little. But I'll be fine. Noctigal gave me some invigorating drinks before we left, so I'm as clear-headed as can be. Feels like we're missing a little something here. Just a little might be an understatement. Kajnisut is where it should be, but it seems to be refusing to show itself to us. And what's that supposed to mean? Shh, look over there. It's the Aramites. They got here before us. Huh, what should we do, avoid them? No, let's go have a little chat with them. But we didn't get along last time, and we even fought each other. Can we even talk to them now? No, didn't you see the quotes? Ah, Tirza, do you think we're going over there to invite them for tea? We're going to communicate in our own way, of course, and if all else fails, we'll talk with their fists. It is what my father and I are best at. Yeah, Tirzad, read the subtitles, bro. There were quotes there. Maybe he'll stop being such an insufferable ass for a little bit. Who are you? <laughs> the researcher and the traitor? Good. Give us the stuff Samael mentioned. Give you what? We don't owe you anything. <laughs> Acting dumb won't save you. Take this. Whoa. Well, looks like the negotiations have broken down. And they're dead. I condemn you. Now for okay, I can get around them. New enemy. Gale Hunter. This huntress may be found in one of the many scattered mercenary groups they hail from the desert. She will unleash the spirit of Omen, Windglade, Windglade, Glade, contained within her body to fight alongside her after taking a certain amount of damage. This will cause her to enter an infused form. If the Glade is defeated, she will enter a weakened state for a fixed amount of time thereafter. Give me that Fremo gem. Kill her without killing the, the other thing. Didn't do anything, okay. I think there's an achievement for doing that for one of the other types that do something similar. So either I killed the thing at the same time or not. Or there's no achievement. How strange, it feels like they didn't go out, go all out. What did they mean when they mentioned Samael's orders? Is it about Ben-Ben? Ben-Ben did get taken away before. Beep? Beep! Hmm, it is possible. Besides, Tirzad, we must protect Ben-Ben well too. They probably stayed for a while. Let's look around. There might still be some clues. We did read some stuff from uh, Samel earlier. The merchant has given us the location of the trader. There is more than one key, so you don't have to obtain it by force. 
In case someone questions you, find a way to leave immediately and don't ever mention or quarrel with that woman. If this works out, we'll be able to deal with her. Some mail. What if it was, uh, it was Dia? That's not quite right. Let's have another look around. We've already read this, but it still shows up. This Paimon doesn't understand a thing. Let's pass it to Jabral, shall we? What's up, dude? Jabral, we found this, though. We're not sure if it's a useful clue. When I was still with the Totmos, we used to leave messages for each other in code, just like this. Is it a Kaisar cipher? Oh, so you can read it, Jabrail? Samel should be aware that he can. Not that then is this all then all then is all of this a trap that Samel set for us? I knew your past would come back to bite us. Come on, Ben Ben, why don't we just return to Sumeria City now? It is quite regrettable that my paper won't have its final two chapters, but I can always return again if I'm still alive. Beep? Next time I should get help that it has a clean background. We can use this against them. What do you mean? We're the latecomers here. They've been here for quite some time, and they've made some discoveries, of course. They just lack something crucial, so they can't advance. And we just happen to have what they need. Ben-Ben. Yes, and the stone slate. Instead of taking them from us, they have a better way to get what they want. Oh, so they... They'd like to sit back and claim the fruits of our work. Yes, they'd prefer it if we solved everything for them. Oh, I get it. They're the people in joint research projects that contribute nothing, but take all the credit when it's time to present your findings. But they won't be able to get away. They won't be able to get what they want if we get stuck here too. So we can use this against them. We can't avoid a fight once everything has been uncovered, but Jet, Shagoth, neither of you will run from a fight, right? Of course, I've decided to punch that guy in the face when we meet again. The Aramites are nothing. Yeah, we fought worse. Sorry to interrupt, but there must be a safer method, right? Just think about it. The ruins have been here for years, so just a few months or even a few years won't change anything. We can come back later. <sighs> Using their plan against them is a bad idea. All four of you do seem so full of confidence, but that's because you're skilled fighters. But there are just too many of them. Paimon can fly away and hide if things go south, but what about me? For safety's sake, we should return to Sumeria City and draw up a plan. No, even Aru Village would be fine. Those Totmos folks may believe in King Deshret, but that doesn't mean they won't touch the ruins. If he can't do it through ordinary means, Samael will use other means. If they solve King Deshret's puzzle before us, these ruins probably won't be the same when you return, Tirzad. What? But they're all relics! They may be precious relics to you researchers from the Academia, but they clearly aren't to the Tutmos. It's all just a process, a phase. They only care about the final objective. Results are what matters to them. Here's odd. Do you still not get it? We have no other choice now. It saddens me to think that I won't get to celebrate my success because I'll have to face the fangs of that venomous snake who will leap out of the shadows. He may be in the shadows, but we're prepared for him. I won't let him touch you. According to this coded letter, al Ahmar's throne only shows itself to the worthy who have passed the three trials. Three trials? Maybe that refers to the buildings all around us. You know, there are so many huge statues here. Paimon's worried that they'll just come to life. Maybe the trial is to defeat them. I can only hope that you're wrong. Pass the three trials. Yoink. Yeah, see, there's like, there's stuff way down there, I believe. I think I can see a floor. But it might even spawn a building or something. It might rise up. I don't know. More than rocks shall rise up. Rise up, rise up. More than rock shall rise up high. 
Make the sands rise up, rise up. It's a bit of a reference to something. It sucks me into the book. What was the purpose of that? Whoa! There's a thing down there. Hey! <laughs> um, Dendroculus, where? On that dude? I need to be careful about sprinting because I'll run out of stamina. Why is that color so different? I feel like the moment I fall through, if I've been sprinting, I might just run out of stamina and die. Ah, oh, it's behind that dude. Okay. Keep dropping. Don't, don't blue ball me. You're gonna blue ball me, aren't you? Okay, good. I didn't want to edge any longer. I need to cash some of these in. I've been getting a lot. That's a trial. Now what? Okay. I was gonna say, do I just warp out of here? Get one of these, that's always nice. Alright, where's the next one? They're both about equidistant. I don't think there's a clear route across here, so we'll zip around the edge. It's stamina time, let's go. Aramites. What are they doing here? I'm here to get dunked on. Probably about to lose my shield, but it's okay. Oh, we got. We got multiple Oculus Rifts over here. Got at least two. Oh, it's gonna take us up. Just because I don't want to deal with you guys being angry at me until you finally de aggro. I'm gonna kill you. So I could go down or up. Oh, I can't. Okay. Never mind. I thought there. I just assumed because it was a vent like that that it was going to take me. Um, am I hearing the Oculus? The Dendroculus? 
I assumed it was gonna take me up through like a hole in the roof. I didn't even look. What in the hell is going on here? What is this? Interesting. What trinkets lie veiled within this desolate plain? Gather. I need to go Nova. cash in these Dendro sigils at some point. I think I have a lot of those too. Before I get blocked. Oh, I will, because it's on the other side. Double check this stuff. What in the hell? Oh, you just tell me what's real and what's not. Wait, what the hell? Yeah, I've picked up a good handful of them in these uh, pyramids we've been clearing out. Excited to see how, how I'm faring. Still probably quite a ways off from being done, though. Keystone 1. The Keystone Pipeline was shut down. Wasn't it? <laughs> Cry out my illustrious name. That's all I can think of. So can we go through here? Keystone 2. So I need Keystone 1. Wait. Did it enemy drop it? I, I have no idea when I got it. I wish these things gave you stamina too. That'd be pretty cool. What trinkets lie veiled within this desolate plain? So I can't go through here, but I can go to the other side. I was kind of waiting on these blue things to respawn. Yeah. That. Is it two? No. Yeah, but I can go over here, and I guess, did I get another keystone? Oh, stop it. I did. News to me.
All right, that's two of three. These are going pretty smoothly so far. Wasn't there a... No? Ooh, dude. Stop being mad at me. We're not even near each other. Are they going to make me climb all the way out? It's not the longest area, but I was hoping they were going to give me a better shortcut. <laughs> I swear it opened up another sand... like a... a current thing, or... I don't know what you call this. And then I was like, oh, it's gone. Thought I saw something I could interact with. But I don't think so. What about these? We have two hour uh, sand glasses here. Oh, this is for fast travel. Stop. I don't want to fight you, bro. You brought this on yourself, dude. Come on. Jeez, man. It's a problem. How many Dendraculi do we find here? So far, none. You want to fight? This music slaps, slaps. So good. Is this one just going to be a combat trial? So far, no sign of a, of a Dendraculus, but if we're going to have to go down multiple layers deep, then that may change. This man is gearing up. He's ready to fight. Got us alive, one boys. We got another one. Why? I don't want to fight you guys. I don't want to fight you guys so hard that I'm just going to do this. That's a lot of damage. Oh, that was it? Dang, that was easy. I'm sad that there were no Dendraculus in there. Dendraculi. Dendraculus Rift. Alright, where does this take us? Does this go to that side? Or does it go back to the center? Yeah, that's not really what I wanted. Actually... No, we need to go this way. Yeah, alright.
Oh, there was an hourglass right there. A sand glass right there, it looks like. I guess I could have just warped, but yeah, we're, we're close enough. It's fine. Wait, did the statues grow heads when I did? No, that one's still headless. I don't know why I keep trying to zoom in. Yo, that Arma, those couple sessions of Arma I did the other day really messed me up. I'm thinking when I aim, I can hold right click to zoom in. Actually, well, you can just like hold right click to zoom in anytime in armor. It's weird. Eyeballs got them zoom lenses in them. All right, what's going on? Cool. Ah, see, there is a thing here. It didn't rise up, though. Alkaloid reference did not work out. Rise of the cephalopods. More than rock shall rise up, rise up. What's going on? Why couldn't we see it earlier if it's right there? But it, it wasn't there. Where did it come from? Let's go. The final puzzle awaits. Oh, did I see something there? This man wants to fight. God damn it, why you why do you guys always want to fight? I didn't put out um Booba, but it's okay. He's almost dead. Can't we ever just not fight? No, I'm gonna ignore I'm not gonna walk near that guy. I don't wanna fight him. Obviously inside, but where's the throne? Why would you think the throne would be facing the entrance? It isn't a receptionist's desk. Actually, I feel like I shouldn't say such uh, disrespectful things in a place like this. Anyway, King Deshret's throne should be in a more dignified place, or in simpler terms, a place that's higher up. The mechanisms here probably stopped working a long time ago. We've got to find a way to reactivate them. Oh, Paimon can't wait to see what the throne looks like. Everything linked to King Deshret is huge, so that throne is definitely very, very huge, right? <laughs> Paimon wants to take a seat on it. Be eep? Be... Something seems to be the matter with Ben Ben. It seems like it wants to go down? Huh? But Tirzad said the throne is definitely higher up. Oh, his ego has been challenged again. How will he manage? Hmm, to go up, we must first go down. You cannot reach a peak without falling to your lowest, just like... Just like in life? Yes, exactly. Ha, it looks like you've learned quite a bit these past few days you spent with me, eh? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, it's... It, no, it's fine. Like, you reach low points in life. That's okay. Everyone has problems in life. Life is not perfect. Life is not always easy. So being, you know, honest and open about the problems you've had, there's nothing wrong with that. But the, the way he, he said it, like, you have to reach your low points in life. And like, yeah, you learned a lot by watching me. Dreams beneath the searing sand. What do you do? This is the most Genshin thing. I was like, Didi, what does this button do? Uh-oh, do you see what I see? Truth is an offense. There's a Dendraculus. Oh, here we go again with the rule of three trials. And there's so... Paimon bets that Deshret guys got awesome stuff. King Deshret's wisdom is not something that may be comprehended by common folk. 
Well, if we end up finding nothing, finding nothing of value after all this trouble, then um, then let Tirzad paint him as the bad guy in his thesis, eh? Oh, did we just get the invisible wall things happen? Yeah, these weren't very well optimized, were they? It's all right, though. Make me fight them. Why? I don't wanna. <laughs> I say it all the time. I actually do like the combat in this game. Um, quite a bit. I just don't want to fight most enemies. It's too time consuming. Where did that thing go? Did it make it? Or did it get, like, blown into the wall? What's going on here? That's lit up. Maybe it did make it. What else is down here? Oh, I was supposed to wait, wasn't I? Yeah. Do you see what I see? Truth is an offense. Silence for your confidence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we did it. Cause I'm the best main. Open Sasami. Wasn't Sasami like a Tenchi Muyo character? I've wanted to rewatch that for like many, many, many years because I used to be a big fan of that. Like back in the 90s, early 2000s when it was on uh, Toonami. I used to really like Tenchi Muyo. I have no idea if it would hold up. But it would, it would hold up from nostalgia's perspective, I'm sure. Like most things do when you're driven by nostalgia, but... I'm cool just for that. Okay, what now? I can't interact with it. Must have done something up here. Do your little Jojo pose. Come on. Yeah. Hey, what about you? I'll probably try to get done with this part of the um, quest, and then if it's still going, we'll stop after this. I mean, this might even take a while. Because I kind of am about ready to be wrapping up, to be honest. I'm tired. Tired, I'm not looking forward to going to work tomorrow. Or not going to work. It's from home. I'm just getting out of my bed. I'm not looking forward to having to get out of my bed and work tomorrow. That's the truth. I need help. <laughs> Is that it? Because there's maybe one more that I didn't interact with yet. It's 
actually the other one, isn't it? What is this, too? I never went over here. This is... Okay, this is the Dendroculus. Are you really gonna put walls and make, make me walk around like a dweeb trying to find my way to it? Better not. Okay, good. I'm glad we found that, though. I don't have to worry about it anymore. Because I was, like, earlier I knew I interacted with the book and opened a path down that I never checked. Um, is this the last one? Yeah. Activate the mechanism in the center of the hall. How do I do that now? This one? Oh, it's on this side. Maybe. Oh. Touch it. Oh, you can actually see Fischl there. Cool. Just barely. Yeah, we should be able to get to the upper level and see King Dashrat's throne now. Hurry up, Shaggoth Pima Kit. Wait to sit on King Dashrat's big chair. Oh, disrespectful. You are now summoning the boss. Nah, I don't know. I thought, you know, it's like the resurrection of the Scarlet King and all this stuff. Hold on. Okay, now I know what I heard. Good. I thought, from all that, he was gonna be like the big bad Archon boss of 3.0. Well, 3.x. Right, because it is a multi-part thing. Here's where we need to be. You know, like how, um... Raiden, Shogun, and A were the big bosses of, of 2.x. I was like, there's no way they're setting up this resurrection thing. Now, it still may happen. It's like Chekhov's gun, right? Red herrings, all that stuff. It still might happen. To some degree. But they set him up as like a villain, and the story was like, nah, he's actually pretty cool. So that's why I'd find it weird if he just showed up and we had to fight him. This is different. Prism of Kajnisut. The Prism of Kajnisut is a control device within King Dashrit's ruins that gives off an enigmatic light. If you get close to a Prism of Kajnisut, you can control all nearby objects that give off the same light as it. You can also con change the color of the Prism's mysterious glow, so you can control red and blue things. So what is that? It just slides the, the things around? What are we trying to do? Switch to... Oh! Some of the ones we move change color. Ah! Oops, didn't mean to switch it. From this angle, operate. There we are. Wait, did we already succeed? Yeah, I guess they're all linked up. Okay. What do we do here? We just punch this? <laughs> just climb on the wall. I like it. No, don't. Don't. Isn't it? 
Okay, I was, thought it was gonna scrape me off the wall. If I can talk, I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. not even saying words at this point. Thought it was gonna scrape me off the wall, though. Spatula. I didn't really think it was gonna do anything bad, but it was, it was funny. Did something that shouldn't be activated get activated? Watch out! Strange, why did they stop? King Deshret is as unreasonable as I thought. We've overcome. Let's go, I'll lock more stone is higher up. It is close. That's what you get. They move too fast to read. I think it was gonna say like we've overcome so many of his trials that he's angry. He's getting desperate, whatever. Hey, this chair is huge. Paimon feels like it, like just sitting on it is going to make Paimon super great. Sitting on a seat that doesn't belong to you won't end well. I may disapprove of a tyrant like King Deshret, but your thoughts might be a little too audacious even so, Paimon. Actually, I kind of wanted to say I want to sit on it too, but... Anyway, nothing happened, huh? Is something lagging or perhaps we made a mistake somewhere? Hmm, Jabrell did mention that only the Chosen may kneel before the throne. M maybe we really have to kneel before the throne. But I'm a researcher of the Academia. I can't kneel before a tyrant's throne, and it's an empty throne too. Bruh, if kneeling before a throne made some magic bullshit happen, you would totally do that to research it. Don't worry, it won't be empty once Paimon sits there. You're seriously- Jet, please help me with Paimon. Jet? Wait, where did Jet go? She was still with us just a moment ago, right? She got captured. I was gonna say, yep, Samael. Jabrail, are you still refusing to admit that you are a Totmos deep down? Self-deceiving makes no difference for, for people like us, you know it? What a loser, he's like, you gotta be part of our clan. We miss you, we want you back. al throne is right before us, aren't you obsessed with it too? No mere grain of sand can reject the golden slumber. Alachmar's promise is the paradise that all of us dream of. What is the golden slumber? Death? Did you think betraying the Tutmos would be enough to deny your nature? Ha, I knew you would be back. Little Jet, do you see it now? Once he laid eyes on Alachmar's throne, your dear father forgot everything, even you. That was my mistake. It has nothing to do with him. You're just as stubborn as your father, but your talkativeness. I guess you must have gotten that from Ufira, huh? Samel, we've solved everything for you and brought you to the throne. Your dream should be fulfilled. Jet is useless to you, so why keep her? I see, so you're finally showing your true colors, huh, Jabrail? Use their plans against them. You're just one of them, like I expected. Oh my god, well, can someone just shut this guy up? Irzad is so annoying. <laughs> so this is your choice? Looks like your companions never really trusted you at all. Tirzad, your expedition should be over now. We've explored the entire Kajnasut, and now you have all the knowledge you need for your paper. We should start considering how to get you back safely now. I promise to protect you until the end, and I'll keep my word. Tisk tisk tisk. Such greed. Jabrail, I thought I knew you, but I really don't understand what you're doing right now. You're trying to shoulder every burden, your daughter's safety, that researcher's commission, and even Alachmar's secrets. I thought you learned your lesson about greed when Ufira died. Oh, sorry, or should I say, I taught you that lesson when Ufira died. Yo, this man's about to go Super Saiyan. You better shut up, Samael. Oh, perhaps you learned your lesson and you're prepared to pay the price now. Let's see which one amongst them will be the price you pay. This weirdo keeps saying weird stuff. Paimon's getting confused. Haven't we uncovered everything? And what are Alachmar's secrets anyway? in the golden slumber. Aren't those just desert superstitions? Things like that are too vague. There's no research value in them. I said golden slumber was death, not being facetious or anything, but I don't remember what Jabrail said earlier, but I think he mentioned something about the golden slumber and then seeing uh, Ufira again. And I was like, what if the golden slumber is their afterlife kind of thing, you know? An eternal slumber in the sands, golden slumber. Tirzad says, They say anyone who gains King Deshret's wisdom is permitted to enter the Golden Slumber and enjoy eternal peace and happiness there. 
Besides ignorant children, who could take that seriously? <laughs> you third-rate researcher. Oh, if Ufira were alive, she would have written multiple books by now. Someone like you has no right to talk about al Ahmar's legacy. Enough! If you wish to sit on al Ahmar's throne, then do as you please. I won't stop you, and I won't let Tirzad do that either. I opened the path to al Ahmar's throne for you, and I used Tirzad and Shagath to make Kajnasut manifest itself. I don't think I owe Tirzad anything. He wanted a paper that could shock the academic world, and now he has material that no one else has. I've helped him accomplish his objective. Now give Jet to me, and we'll be even. Ha! Ah, I'm really curious. Why are you always so evasive whenever al Ahmar's secrets are mentioned? It's an empty throne. Anyone can sit on it. An unqualified and mediocre person won't become great just by sitting on it. That prayer is the key, but of course you know that. Huh. Well, it all makes sense if you were planning to return alone. The song is the prayer, isn't it? Unfortunately, unless you're willing to pay with Little Jet's life, nothing is more important than family. Yeah, Paimon may not know what the secrets of al Ahmar he keeps mentioning are, but it doesn't matter if it's the truth or if it's superstition like Tirzad says. Both strength and endless wealth are nothing before family. What kind of prayer has that much appeal? I refuse to believe it, but I don't mind listening in. It wouldn't hurt to include it as an anecdote in my paper. If something like that can be exchanged for Jet's safety, then stop hesitating and tell him. To be honest, I expected that we might have to fight for our lives to get home. So isn't it great that we can resolve this peacefully? Also, Ben Ben is still hanging out, so that's that's an unresolved thread. I never expected to see such intense superstition. I guess my knowledge is still lacking. Perhaps this superstition linked to King Deshret as it is may be worth studying after all. O oh, stars high above the wasteland. Jabril recites the song he sang softly at night in the, o in the oasis. Huh? What isn't this... Father... Jabril, why? Get ready. O oh, stars high above the wasteland, huh? I see. Turns into a demon. Samel repeats the quote unquote prayer. Oh, you faked it out. It's not actually the prayer. What is this? Chagoth, he looks so strange. He fell asleep. No, wait, he isn't breathing. He got what he wanted. He's inside the golden slumber that al Ahmar promised, the eternal dreamland. So that's what you meant by eternal dreamland. What happened to Samael? None of you will leave this place alive. Shagath, get ready for battle. Okay, no, that's actually in a weird way sad just seeing him do that. But I'm a big old pussy, so, you know, whatever. As, as much as he was a dick about everything, and he just, like, captured Jet, and he's like, I will kill her unless you tell me. But I was right. Turtle slumber is death. Unless they want to do a weird, like, deus ex machina happy ending. Some weird green energy shows up, and then it turns out it's Usanali. I wonder if eye covers like that. I mean, I know veils are a thing, but those look more like blindfolds. I wonder if those are like a real thing, though, in the desert, because maybe they keep sand out of your eyes. I'm noticing some of the enemies are wearing them, too. Samael was wearing one. Jabrail and Jed are wearing them. They don't look very see-through. That's why I was curious. Father, what's going on? That prayer. Jabrail, you mentioned that Jet's mother deciphered it from al Ahmar's texts. I didn't expect it to be used here. But is al Ahmar's golden slumber a way to send his believers into eternal sleep? Makes it more terrifying than I ever imagined. I really should get back and update the collective knowledge of the academic world. Eek, thank goodness Paimon didn't sit on that throne. Guess sitting on a seat that doesn't belong to you really doesn't end well, huh? I have so many questions. Ufira made this inference about al Ahmar's promise. Those who offer the correct prayer to al Ahmar will be granted entry into the Golden Slumber, but it's a one-way trip. 
No one can move freely between the eternal dreamland and reality. It seems that Ufira was right. Samael is gone forever. I must admit that it was a very risky gamble. But all that matters is Jet is safe. That's right, everyone's safe, and, the mo and that's the most important thing. Let me summarize the overall situation now. Jet's back safely, and Samael's subordinates have been defeated. Samael, he got his wish, didn't he? If he wasn't such a villain, I'd even feel like thanking him. Anyway, uh, since he's in the paradise he dreamed of, I don't need his permission to use him as a case study in my paper, right? <laughs> I mean, on the one hand, sure, I, I, fine. I, I don't, I don't think I even questioned that. I knew you were going to write about him, and I don't think that's bad. But when you phrase it like that, you sound like a dick. <laughs> All's well that ends well, eh? I. I, Tirzad, hereby announce that this archaeological expedition has been completed successfully and has yielded great results. Is it really over? This doesn't feel real. Actually, it isn't over. I mean, the minimum requirement in the commission was to escort me safely back to Aru Village, right? Mm, that's true. Tirzad's commission isn't over, so I can't slack off just yet. Father and I will be free once we escort Tirzad back to safe, back safely. Hey, <laughs> then we can go wherever we want. Oh, I'm not talking about the desert, by the way. I mean literally anywhere. Fontaine. It's fine, Jet. I'm willing to accompany you wherever you want to go. As for Ufira, I'll tell you about her if you're willing to listen. There's her research notes, too, but I don't know if you'll be interested in those. I was worried about losing them, so I didn't bring them along. I left them in some luggage with Bonifaz. Once we return to Aru Village and get our luggage... Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Yeah, what's happening here? Does anyone else feel like something's wrong? Something's coming this way! Holy dick burritos. Is this the domain? What's going on? How could this be? Beep, beep. Ben Ben's gonna save us. Is it Samael? Oh no, if he gained al Akbar's wisdom, then even if it's just for an instant, he would have gained al Akbar's authority. We must leave immediately. Or is he just wiping this, this place back off the map? Power, uh, when did this happen? This entire building is trying to... I underestimate the degree of his obsession. He was able to preserve his individuality. His consciousness has departed from this world. Now only exists within the eternal dreamland. Dude, I can't... There's fucking paragraphs of text coming up. I can't read that. A challenge failed. <laughs> I was trying to... It's trying to get us, as the Samael's doing, but didn't he... He preserves his in the sea of consciousness. Oh, that's not the way to go. That's why, okay. He's even trying to use the power to devour us all. His consciousness is a part of this world and now only exists within the eternal dreamland. Something, something, something. What am I doing? Is there a way to go up? Is it really not down? The dreams of Tutmos, we will fulfill them. It was so hard, so difficult to find all the materials. Shouldn't have underestimated superstition. Worms, perish the thought of leaving and take the secret with you. Shagath and everyone else, keep going. Just a little more, just a little more. Just have to get out of this place. And either Samael or al Akhmar or something. I couldn't read it. There we get it. The door is shut, Shagath. What do we do? We must defeat Samael, who has stolen al Akhmar's power. But his physical form in this world must have already been destroyed already. Must have been already destroyed already, yeah, whatever. Something about it, like, I just don't read properly sometimes. So that makes him formless, then how can we defeat him? Don't tell me he's invincible in the eternal dreamland. Unless someone goes to where he is. Unless someone stops and defeats him in the eternal dreamland, I must... I must protect you. No! Father, but, but, how are you going to come back? Didn't you say that no one can move freely in the between the eternal dreamland and reality? There's no time to lose. I promise to keep you safe until the end. I can't let you all die here. There's no time to lose. I promise... Okay, same thing. What a Chad. What is this place? 
He's gonna make it out though, because he's cool. Jabril, <laughs> you're here. I knew it. I knew it. We are the twin blades of Tutmos. Our lives dedicated to uncovering the secrets of the golden slumber. And it, so this guy's like a villain, right? But at the same time, I think he generally just wants to chill with Jabril. Like, I think he's just like, dude, I want my bro back. And he's like a villain over it. I might be wrong. I think he's genuinely is like, oh, you're here. And he probably see, like, he probably thinks it's a good thing. He probably thinks like, oh, you, you're back to my side now. I knew it would happen eventually. Cool. You took the long way around, but it doesn't matter anymore. We've met again here at the end of that path. You were just lost before, but the sands of the Tutmos always return before Alakmar's throne. Like the dehydrated thirst for a spring, only the illusion of the eternal oasis can relive our agony, relieve our agony. I'm inside the golden slumber promised by Alakmar. Oh, you are not us yet. It's fine. Soon there will be no you. You will become a part of us. This meaningless talk will be unnecessary then. Ah, so he... Jabrail is going to be a Chad and preserve his ego within the sea of consciousness as well. No, no, I'm here to stop you. My mission is to protect. I must protect Jet and the others. Why? Why care about such trivial matters? Great power is right before you. It's like a torrent in the desert. Don't you feel it? You should obey. Alakmar's will is our will. The Tutmos' dreams are our dreams. No, Ufira taught me that I'm not just some part of you. I'm an independent person. I have my own dreams. I won't go back. Jabril, why don't you understand? Love is just a fever. I even eliminated the infection for you. Has the heat made you lose your mind? You're the one who's lost their mind, Samael, not me. The golden slumber that al Ahmar promised us isn't like this. It's not a sad place with only we and no I. I'm not sad. I know what I want. My dream is to be one with the Tutmos. Yet you, the warmth of another, I despise such feelings. It makes you weak. Your betrayal was like a blade in my chest, but I obtained al Ahmar's wisdom. And that wound I thought would never heal is nothing but a memory now. You've realized it too, haven't you? That drowsiness Al-Akhmar is summoning you into the dream. Stop arguing meaninglessly with me. Come fall into deep sleep. What do you mean, me? <laughs> when you awaken again, no, when we awaken again, nothing will be left standing in our way. The Tutmos' dreams will be fulfilled. No, you're my enemy. My dream is, is... We are the dunes, and you are a grain of sand. We are one. You know this. No, I'm the treacherous grit. I abandoned the Thutmose and chose a different path. Did I call him treacherous gift earlier? Maybe I did. You took the long way around, but you reached the correct destination. Admit it. This is the dream hidden within your heart. I wanted to return to this place? It's called grit, because like sand... Yes, you did. There is no hatred here, only eternal peace. No bitter salt water, only an endless spring. Sleep, Jabrail, sleep. Don't fall for it. Uh-uh, be a Chad. Father, father. His body's disappeared. He's not coming back, Jet. This can't be. Make Lumine speak as well. I refuse to believe it. He always keeps his promises. He promised to tell me about my mother. All of you heard him. He wouldn't lie to me. He never lies to me. I refuse to yield. Jed is right. I'm a man of my word. I promise to protect them until the end. I see your ties to the mundane inhibit you, just like that infection. I just have to eliminate them. Door is open. It must be Jabrail. It's still shaking, Jet. It's dangerous here. We can't stay or else the sacrifice would mean nothing. That's actually... That's actually, like, one of the best things that Tirzad has said. Seriously, Tirzad was right on that. Like... I... I am partial to the idea of, like, let's not give up on Jabrail. But also, Tirzad is like, this man, from their perspective, they don't know what's happening in here. So it's just like... He disappeared, the door opened. Maybe look around for a moment, but you can't let his sacrifice be in vain. Leave if you want. Father, father will be back. 
He'll be so sad if he couldn't find me when he wakes up. I won't leave it. Oh, that's so wholesome. How foolish. But these trivial troubles will vanish with the wind soon. I won't let you win. <laughs> I finally get it, Samail. You're right. There will be no me. Only us. But you're not the only one who can decide our will. Can't be serious. Samail, the twin blades of Totmos are equal. So, die here with me. Jet, forgive me. You'll have to go on alone from now on. No, I'm sure you won't forgive me. After all, it's my first time breaking a promise to you. I hear the voices of many here. I think I hear Ufira too. She's humming the song of her home. Oh, if only you could hear it too. Why couldn't I have told you a little more about her? Her soft curly hair and that innocent smile of hers. I have so many things I want to share with you, but I'm no longer able to distinguish if they are my memories or our memories. Jesus Christ, this game really gets sad at times. Like, this game just ramps it up when it wants to. Sorry. Oh, come on! Dig the knife in a little deeper, why don't you? The door's closed again? Thank goodness we made it out in time. Jabril protected us, but he... Father. Beep. Beep boop beep. Beep. Ben Ben is a... Is a okay, wait, wait, wait. Ben Ben is here. He is still... Uh, um. What did I say earlier? A looming threat? A loom? A loam? What is it that you... No, it's a loom. Yeah, it's a loom that you use for... Whatever. He's still a, a, a thread. Like an open plot thread. What if he's the deus ex machina that's going to get Jabrail back? It must be Jabrail who opened the door for us. Without him, we would have been... He fulfilled his promise. This place may not be completely safe. Let's meet up with Noctagal's group and head back to Aru village. Refusing to give up, Jet examined the entrance to uh, Kajni's suit time after time, only to find the door tightly shut. Behind it was dead silence. Things had happened and were beyond redemption. Jet, now having but to accept reality, put away Jabrail's axe carefully. It is the only thing he left behind. We finally managed to persuade her to come back with us to the camp. We then informed the merchants of what happened and returned to Aru village. To think something like that happened. Animo Archon, bless us all. I'm really sorry about what happened to Jabrail, but at least all of you returned safely. I think we may have to reconsider our career as traveling merchants. The desert is a hundred times more dangerous than I expected, even someone as capable as Jabrail. A nobody like me doesn't have that many lives. Ugh. This may be bad timing, but I have to ask about what all you... I have to ask about what all of you plan to do now. I believe Tirzad will be returning to Sumeru City. Me? Yes, I will. I, I should head back and start writing my paper. You better put a fucking, like, dedication at the front of the book for Jabrail. Like, this book is in memory of Jabrail. Like, you better do some Chad shit like that. I'll, I'll be less vicious to you. I must record everything that I witnessed. But not... F oh, yes! He did it. But not for academic glory or anything. Also, this music. They play this one a lot. It's Sumeru music. It's 3.x music, but... They always play it at very meaningful moments. But not for academic glory or anything. Jabrail did as he promised he would. Yet I... I've always been avoiding my responsibilities. Now it's my turn. I too must shoulder my responsibilities. And as for the stone slate, he's like, you can keep it. I've prepared a replica for reference. As for the original, I hope he'll keep it safe for me. I'm not trying to run from danger. It's a commission, you hear it? A commission. Just think about it. I'll be completely occupied with my paper soon, but an adventurer like you will never stop adventuring, right? 
If you make new discoveries during this time, wouldn't we make the perfect team? The thesis material shall be mine and the more are yours. That's perfect. We'll be making the best use of all our resources. And Jet, what do you plan to do now? Do you have any friends you can rely on or something? Dude, don't... Don't make it more sad. Father, he was so busy he never had the time for anything. He didn't leave anything behind, just that axe as he... That he, uh, just that axe he always used. Father said he hoped he could meet her again in the Eternal Oasis, but that day was still very, very far away. Liar! He lied to me and to my mother. He should keep his own promise. Now I have to fulfill it for him and take his axe and mother's research notes, which he kept with his luggage, to the Eternal Oasis. I hope they'll find true peace there. Be e is there anything we can do to help? Thank you, but it's all right. While I was taking a quick look through my mother's research notes, I noticed what seemed like casual diary entries on the edges of the pages. I found out that my father is from this tribe called Tenet, so I plan to look for them. Perhaps they can tell me about my father. Lumine looking sad there. So is Paimon, actually. Paimon maybe even worse. Oh, she's breaking down. Sorry, I just... I haven't... I'm sorry. Let's give her a moment to herself. I wish, like, they could have at least heard Jabrell's final words there. His final thoughts. Like, that that's one that, like... Final thoughts always kind of get to me a bit. Um, I'll, I'll say it this way. Life is short. Life is relatively short. Um, you look back on life... And you look back on your past, all the things you've done, all the memories you have. And uh, they're tiny snapshots, right? You know, I'm, I'm in my early 30s right now. And I have so many memories. But they're all just tiny, tiny snapshots, fleeting, fleeting moments in time, you know. And the idea of seeing someone in their final moments and just... This is what everything is culminated to. It always gets to me a bit, you know. I think we should make the most that we can out of life, however we do that. And, uh... You know, that idea of, like, like are there regrets? Are there things you wish you could have done? All that, like... It's tough. That's what I'll say. It's, it's, it's tough. Um, and so many times in media, when you get those final thoughts like that, it is... There is a, a lot of sadness there. Jabrail's situation was filled with both sadness and, uh, like I said, it was a Chad move. Sacrificing himself to say, no, I said I'm going to protect everyone. I'm going to do this. Like, that was a Chad move, but it was also very sad, you know. Um, I just wish the others could have heard what he thought as, as it was happening, right? And then seeing seeing his resolve and, and everything and those final thoughts, and then he's like, I don't even know what memories are my own anymore, as he's fading, right? That also just kind of hits me. This is like very just obvious in the dialogue that he's losing his ego, if you will. So anyway, Boniface says, Yeah, anyway, Noctigal and I will be staying here for a while. We'll think long and hard about our future. We should be staying in Sumeru for some time, too. Paimon just has this feeling that there are so many more secrets to uncover. Come to us if you need anything. We'll do our best to help you. And good luck in your adventures. There it is. Golden Slumber. To be continued. Yes. I'm telling you, Ben Ben is an unresolved plot thread. Jabrail is coming back, bro. Jabrail is coming back. And it's going to be through these guys. We're going to talk to these people. Uh, Bonifaz and Octagon, maybe? That's going to be the next part of the quest, basically. That, that it's it's going to somehow continue. I don't know. Because they said, hey, we're going to be here if you want to talk to us. Maybe Tirzad will do some good stuff. Maybe he'll figure something out and be like, yo, I think we can save Jabrail. Let's do it. I created hey, Jet. Sorry, I'm still not very good at controlling my emotions. Don't apologize. Yeah, we know you're going through a tough time. 
Thank you. May your travels be smooth. Oh, Paimon hopes that everything will go well for you, too. Paimon's sure it will. I can't talk to Ben-Ben. Noctigal? Where are Omid and Mirsad? Are they... Don't worry, they're both fine. It's just that they have other plans, so they won't continue working with us. Oh, that's sad. Huh? What do we do? We can't handle all the work with only the two of us. We gotta hire more people. But who'd want to come to Aru Village? Forget it. Let's discuss this later. Anyway, Cyrus got back safely. That's at least something to be happy about, right? I'm never letting it go to such a dangerous place again. What are you talking about? We're Sumter Beast merchants. What are we going to eat if Sumter Beasts don't work? You can't simply fill your belly with wind. Even if you could open your mouth here, I, I guarantee you'll get a mouthful of sand instead. But we can't let Cyrus take risks. You look pretty strong to me, so why don't you carry our goods instead? <laughs> what? And we'll explicitly talk to... Uh, we already... Yeah, that should be fine. Actually, we'll talk to Bonifaz. One more time, yeah. Same dialogue. Then we'll make sure we talk to Noctagall. It's probably the same dialogue. Yeah, I just want to make sure it wasn't different. And we'll talk to Tirzad, who... In the last moment, he did redeem himself a bit. That got me a bit, because I was like, come on, do it. Like, I literally said, he better, if he's going to do his research, he better put, like, a big-ass dedication to Jabrail for all he did there at the end, you know? And then he's like, he just did. He just said, like, yeah, I'm going to do it for the right reasons. Oh, it's you. Is there anything else you want to discuss? Hell yeah. Jabrail. To think that I remained doubtful of him until the end. Such an awful person. Now all I have for him is gratitude. I've never been able to commit before this, whether in academics or in life, but that ends now. I'll take the path I believe in, no matter how difficult it may be. Ah, don't, don't do this to me, game. I'm already sad enough from this story, and you're, like, hitting me again. This quest has hit me a bunch in terms of, like, Tirzad's struggles with life and commitment and all that. Because I only bitch about my job every single day of my life. And I just got done talking about how life is short and like how... I look back at my years and, and it's, it's small snapshots. I remember great things from my childhood. I remember specific like oddities like... I don't know anything about what else was going on that day, but I remember a day where, you know, I was inside playing Hexen all day, and then I went outside and played tag with some friends. I, very just a fleeting snapshot, a single day. Almost 20 years, or no, more than 20 years ago. Yeah. Actually, well, when would that have been? No, I don't know, whatever. I can't mental math. I can't mental math. I would have been like seven or something. So, 17, uh, yeah, more than 20 years ago. Because that would have put me at 20 years would be like 12. Damn, I'm old. <laughs> Am I 32 or 30? No, I'm 33. Yeah, so like 50, uh, 25 years ago. Jeez, if I can math, if I can math, I'll get there one day. I'm sorry. It's bothering me. Yeah, that's right. Like 25 years ago. A snapshot. A fleeting snapshot. I remember a specific time, you know, again, also playing tag incidentally with, with my brother, like around the whole neighborhood or something. Like, Also, you know, back at that house that I lived in until I was like 10 years old. Um, just specific times, like the first time I played certain games or listen to certain music, you know, when I was learning guitar, all these different things, these little tiny bits and pieces that just, again, I'm only in my early 30s, and that's fine. That's not terribly old, but I feel like there's already so much that I've missed out on, so many things that I, I wish I would have done, so many things I could have done, could have done differently, could have done better. So this quest is hitting me, you know. Um, and again, Tirzad, some of his struggles, some of his problems are really, really... They hit home for me. I need to figure things out. Oh, I don't know if I read that. 
It's the least I can do to pay my respects to him. Let's just click through that one again and make sure. All I have for him is gratitude. I've never been able to commit before this, whether in academics or life, but that ends now. I'll take the path I believe in. Okay, I did read that. It's the least I can do to pay my respects. I want to talk about King Deshret. To be honest, I'm starting to doubt the credibility of the articles I've read. That prayer, it gives me a strange feeling that I can't put a finger on. And Samil, too. What he said. I think I should study it further once I get back. Of course, my main mission is still to write my paper like I originally planned. Let's talk about Jet for a moment. I too wish that I could do something for her, but I can't. And she refuses to say anything. If she would just speak her desire, I would be willing to do anything in my power to help her. So it's set to be continued, but I don't know if we have the next part of the quest yet. And I'm not going to start it tonight, but... I'm actually really invested in this now. This thing is just... This quest has made me exceptionally sad many, many times. In a lot of ways that I did not expect. When, when I started this quest, you know, it, it was literally just... Oh, I want to unlock clearance. I want to unlock clearance so I can do more of these uh, treasures and domains and stuff. And then it's like... We're going to make you sad over and over again. We're going to make you reminisce on your entire life. And, uh... All that fun stuff. <laughs> oh, man. What a, what a wild ride that's been. It's a good quest, though. Do I have clearance for this now? I don't, I don't know how this stuff works, so I might have to look up how to up the clearance. Because it still seems like we only have two. But, um, yeah, that was, that was good stuff. Wow. Game really makes you think sometimes. Game really knows how to hurt you, too. <laughs> Alrighty. Tusk uh, says, how long is Genshin now? How many hours? Uh, what is your exact question? Um, how long does it take to start up a new account and get to the current stuff? Or how long have I been playing it? What's your actual question? How long does it take to start up a new account? I don't actually have an answer for that, but let me think. I would say each patch... I would say each patch has probably been on average, if you're just doing the Archon quests, four hours. That might even be... I don't know, that might be overshooting, that might be under. Some of them are really long, some of them are a bit shorter, but most of them are fairly lengthy. So, if you're just doing the main story, all the required stuff, we'll say those average out to about four hours. So with that in mind, Stabilize. how many are there? Like, I don't know, is that like 40 patches? I don't know. No, not 40. We have 1.0, 1.1. What did it go up to, 1.8? So that's nine patches, that's like... Well, okay, the first... 1.0 is not just four hours. 1.0 would probably be more like 15, 20 hours, we'll say... Like, We'll say 1.0 might have been like 20 hours. I don't know. I, I'm just guessing. I have no idea what 1.0 was because I started playing after. Well, let's say it's just 20 hours. Then we have eight more patches that are all like four each. So that's 32 more hours. Then we have like another 30, 32 hours in 2.0. Then we have like another 30 something hours that we're going to have in 3.0. That would be my guess if you're just doing the main required quests. But that doesn't even feel that accurate, you know? So I think it's actually going to be longer than that, probably. And then there's all the side content, too. Like, if you even remotely do side content on here, it's way, 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 way longer than that, of course.
I guess the question you really got to do, the thing you really got to do, is go to how long to beat and just look up Genshin and see what people have said about it. Wait a minute, can I get to the other one? Whoa! I don't know how to get to this one. Abandon. Come on, let's go. Push me. There we go. Destiny has brought me hither. Yeah, you damn right it's brought me hither. <laughs> Alright. Now that I'm sufficiently sad from this game, uh like really this game just This game hurt me today. That moment, like, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, that moment when, uh, Jabrail, you know, did the fucking Chad move and sacrificed himself to save everybody. Solidify. Like, that alone was like, bro. And then, again, I already went on my reminiscent thing about it, talking about my life and all that, and just snapshots. Life is short, and when you look back, you know, when you're looking at somebody at the end of their life, that's why it always gets to me in media and in, in movies and in games or whatever. When you get somebody at the end of their life, they're dying and you hear their final thoughts and, and it's like, this is what their entire life culminated to, right? You look back and all you really have are tiny snapshots of things that you did, things that you remember, things that you enjoyed. Tiny, tiny snapshots throughout your entire life. And they're all leading to that final moment where you, where you are reminiscing about what, I, or not reminiscing, but where you are, um, where you're just, like, whatever it is that it all culminates in, basically. That, like, that gets to me, man. That stuff just hurts me. And that's why I'm saying, man, I gotta get, I gotta get my stuff worked out. Because I only sit here and bitch about my job every single day. And that's not good, man. I don't want to be looking back at this shit whenever I'm about to die, whenever I am dying. I'd be like, yeah, I hated my entire life because I I never had the resolve to, you know, to say, hey, I hate this, but I'm not going to figure out something better. Rough stuff, man. Us is over here talking about Final Fantasy VII Remake. I don't know what the second thing you mentioned is. I don't remember. Oh, no, I do. Was... Was he in a toilet? You're talking about Deus Ex, I think. There was someone that kept saying it stinks in there. Were they standing in a toilet? I didn't remember that. That's your favorite video game line, though? It is funny. You know which one I like, though? In Nier Automata. When you walk up to the desert the first time, and you meet Jackass, and she's like, Hey, the name's Jackass. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, wait, what? And in the way of uh, 9S is like, so, uh, Jack Ass, was it? <laughs> he tries to say her name.
The moment it stops, we're gonna move on. Does it stop? Or do I have to go up there and stop it? Did it slow down for a moment? What if it's the other one here? Ah, I called it! We'll do a moment of exploration here, but I really want to wrap up. I'm tired. The game making me sad only made it worse. Oh, there's some... Oh! Oh! Oh no! <laughs> that was good. There was some interesting stuff I keep meaning to mention, though, about the lore that could be interesting. So we... well, interesting, interesting. How many times can I say it? Oh, look, the ground is a boner. Um, it's about the Descenders thing, and how we're the fourth Descender, and how our sibling is not even classified as a Descender by the Fatui. But something interesting is we know we can't necessarily trust the lore. In lore already, we've retroactively modified history twice in a way that people will not know that it happened, right? So what I mean is, um, what we just did with Ermansoul, it literally changed the lore so that um, Greater Lord Rukadavata no longer exists. So why should we trust anything that's based on the lore of Ermansoul, or based on the records of Ermansoul at this point. We know, as the Traveler, it's not reliable. So... I guess there's some interesting thoughts there as to... maybe... what actually happened? Why are there records of them there in the first place? They, I guess, they spent a lot of time in, a. Uh, in Conria, so it would make sense to have some records, probably, wouldn't it? Doesn't seem far-fetched. I don't know. There's some more interesting theories about it, though, that... whether both... whether the Traveler and the Sibling are from Conria... What it... I think there was some stuff about, like, even the Traveler's memories have been jacked with or something. I don't know, there are people throwing some wild stuff out there. I say look it up, because I don't know all the lore stuff as well as those people. No, before I go, there was another route I didn't check. What do these stairs lead to? to go work for a game developer that doesn't crunch. <laughs> Games are beautiful when done right. They really are like a very special art form. I was just going to mention, the reason I said that, my brain went down a, a line of thought where I was basically thinking, um, I really like games that make me sad, like like this does it a lot. Um, I was thinking about Nier Automata. That game. That Because I was, I was actually going to say this game is Sadness Simulator. 
But then I was thinking, well, what other games? And then Near Automata came to my mind. And I was like, dude, I really like games that make me sad. And I was like, it shows that it's a very beautiful art form. And I was thinking about how I largely regret not doing something artistic with my life. Um, I was always interested in pursuing some kind of music or art, like um, visual art. When I was younger, I used to draw all the time, and I early on I had interest in doing uh, graphics for uh, video games. But we worked our way back out, but there was still something to do there, wasn't there? Yeah, early on in my life, I was interested in doing graphics for video games, and um, I never, as a kid, I never knew how to even do something like that, and I didn't have the kind of childhood where, you know, my parents were like, we're going to sign you up for clubs and this and that to figure out what you want to do. Like, that's not how my life was. I was just always told, you got to go to college and get a degree so you can get a good job and make a lot of money. That's what I was told all my life. And I was discouraged from art. I was never sat down and... and you know, said, oh, if you want to do, you know, 3D art for games or something, or even 2D art or whatever, there's school that teaches you that, that stuff. Like, I was never told that. As a kid, that's important, because as a kid, you don't know things, right? You're counting on, on people who you assume know how the world works. You're hoping that they can really teach you. Um and really guide you. So I was, anytime I expressed interest in art, it was like, nah, nah, that's not, that doesn't count, right? And when I started playing music, I be, when I got into music, I became really passionate about it. And I played guitar all the time. I was, you know, really excited about learning more. And... I expressed interest in doing something with guitar, you know, I always said, this is what I want to do. And it was the, the same kind of thing, like, no, you can't do that, that doesn't count. You know, yo, you want to be some kind of rock star, that's one in a million, you can't do that. It's like, you gotta go to college, so you can get a degree, and then if you want to do music, you could do that. But your degree is your backup, you know. And it's like, I know so many people in real life who, they don't, not all of them have degrees, a lot of them don't. They work whatever job they work, and maybe it's not their favorite thing in the world, but you know what they did their whole life? They played music. They went, they, they join bands, they play bands, they form bands, they write music, they do what they love. And most of them are a lot happier than I am with that degree that I got. Isn't that something? I'm not saying I have the worst life ever in terms of... I've got a lot of privileges, but that doesn't mean you're happy with them. You know, my, my degree in my field does open a lot of opportunities, but... I don't know that those opportunities are for me. When I think when I think about you know the people that I know, whether personally or just other people that I see that live that life, like the music musician life or whatever, when I think about that, you know, there's a, a simplicity to it. Or again, they may not they may not make the money that I can make with my career, but it's the simplicity of just doing what they want to do and enjoying it, you know. Tough stuff, man. Gather. I, I condemn you. Huh? Rack and ruin. Are you all gonna fight? I really hope not. Get make it like two or three tops. Let's 
Let's get ready for the next one. Good, they made it three. That was a reasonable amount. I didn't want to fight seven of them. What trinkets lie veiled within this desolate plain? We get a Dendroculus. I'm gonna go cash in my Dendroculus, then we're gonna wrap up once I'm done with this, because I think this might be the end. Oh, let's get a JoJo pose. Do official. Let's get a JoJo pose. I created no, a not, no. And found not that one. Let's get a JoJo pose. Let's grab this. Let's remove this from the map. All right, one more try. Let's get a JoJo pose. Grab me a drink of water. created nope. another universe. <laughs> I was like, dude, why are we waiting so long? Do it. How do you write the excavation report? Achievement. That's cool. I went in way over here and I, I circled around. Where is this thing? Let's see if this is in the desert. I think it's underground though. Uh, like I said, we'll cash these Dendroculus in. Check these achievements real quick, too. The way to the throne is finally being revealed. A small step toward hiding the truth. Explore the ruins beneath the desert for the first time. Wait, more. Billy Mays shows up. But wait, there's more. Complete golden slumber. Slumber, the brother of... Ah, you know what it is, a reference. Was it Sleep, the Cousin of Death? Sleep is kind of terrifying when you think about it. We just kind of lay there and deactivate and shut off and basically die for a little bit. And our brain gives us weird images that we sometimes remember if we wake up during them. Very, very bizarre thing, sleep. Alright, what do we got here? How many? That's a cool view. We have 20. And we're gonna need six more for the next reward. Getting there. Let's take a look at the um, at the the banner. It's still Yaimiko. I don't know if I want to try to pull for her again. I mean, Yaimiko can get it, but I already have Yaimiko. I don't know if I need another one. I don't know, like. I don't know that I'd be using her anytime soon. That's the problem. I got this new character. Who was it again? Leah? Le Leah? Layla. I have no idea what a grasshopper mouse is, dude. Can we get a JoJo pose? Come on, let's let's wrap up with the JoJo pose. Do it right. Hold on. No, I think I think we're good. Okay, I'll point out what I'm looking at though in a moment. Yeah, Jojo pose. 
You see right here where the crosshair is pointing, right? Like on the dot. There's a little line. Well, now I moved over, but there's a line up and down. Kind of moving around that line. Very hard to see. But I thought it was a, um, like a waypoint. Uh, there is a waypoint there. But I have the waypoint. I thought it was a red waypoint thing. Okay, see, so, see, there's actually a line right there. Oh no! No, Jaeger, no! I'm wrapping up. No. Oh, it's terrible timing. You know, it's the worst. It I appreciate that, Jaeger, but I'm wrapping up. Um, you know what the worst is? I always, like... W I've been trying to stop for, like, 30 minutes. And then, um... Right after I, like, right when I finally get to the point where I'm done with the thing and I'm stopping, it happens. Like, I'm already over when I would normally stop. <laughs> and right when it happens. I don't know about that one, Tusk. I don't like doing that. <laughs> No, I'm not doing a 12-hour stream. I am too tired for that. This game has made me too sad for that. And I am... This game has made me too sad, and I am too sad about having to work tomorrow. I do not have the energy to keep streaming. I need to go cry myself to sleep. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Tusk. I, I don't really... I don't like doing those too much. I do appreciate it, Jaeger, but yeah, it's terrible timing. I, I literally just sat there. Time to wrap up. <laughs> yeah, bedtime before work. Something like that for me. I, I need time to wind down before bed. I need time to just relax for a bit. I'm going to have a hard time sleeping tonight. I already know that. This dude zooming around. All right, I'm going to do the outro now because I was literally two seconds away from starting it. I, uh, so I'll say this, like I was standing here and I was looking at, at something here that caught my eye and I was just saying like, oh, that looked interesting. And then I was going to do my outro. <laughs> so thank you everyone who showed up with your lurking chat massive video. What if you let's do it? Watch the stream. I appreciate it. If you're new, hit that follow button. If you're watching this in the future on YouTube, congrats on being in the future. Do all the fun YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, notification bell. You know how it works. Um, I stream here like every day unless I'm feeling really bad and there's twice on Saturday twice on Sunday um, Current schedule Monday Wednesday coding streams. I program in rust doing a roguelike tutorial. We're doing map generation stuff right now um, Tuesday Thursday we're gonna do a couple more sessions of Arma 3 and then the only game that's ever gonna matter again for the rest of time War Fortress the Steam Edition comes out on the 6th of December, so that's going to be Tuesday, Thursday for a hot minute. I am ready for that. I am taking work off for that and everything. Um, so that's going to be Tuesday, Thursday starting uh, next week, but this week is going to be Arma 3. Um, and Friday, Saturday night, Caves of Cud. Saturday, Sunday, Daystream, Star Ocean, the Divine Force. And Sunday night, Genshin Impact, Sadness Simulator. That quest today made me extremely sad. <laughs> but alright, that is it. That is a very quick rundown of everything. So as I usually say... Ah, I hit... Dude, I hit the wrong button. What's wrong with me today? They're right by each other. They're right next to each other. So as I usually say... Until next time, have a good day, have a good night, whatever it is, wherever you're at, take it easy. Jaeger over here talking about Warf Fortress. I do know that, because he also said Klingon power, but I do know that reference. You, you don't understand. Warf Fortress, that is my jam. Like, I've been playing it for like a decade. I'm very excited for the uh, for the Steam release.
Raiden, what's your status? Colonel, I've got Emma Emmerich here. We've managed to avoid drowning. Good job. All stretcher.